Hello and welcome you all to this new lecture on spool type direction control valve. So in this lecture we are going to actually see the comparison between an actual direction control valve and the circuit symbols. That is how can one correlate and understand the actual hydraulic symbol and the actual valve. And also we are going to see the actual working when I move the valve to left and right what exactly happens with the valve. So this is all about this lecture. Let's proceed further. So the first picture over here shows the spool or the valve spindle is at the center. When you recollect from my previous lecture, here you can find the port P, D, A and B. So this is four port and there are three positions like left, central and right. So three position, four port manually operated hydraulic control valve or directional control valve is the nomenclature. Now as the lever at its central position the high pressure oil from the pump just stays over here and it slightly leaks past and then drains back to the tank. So the slight leakage is allowed as per the grooves on this valve both over here. However the ports A and B are completely disconnected so that no oil goes to the system further and does any work. So this can be pictorically represented as like this. Port B is disconnected, port A and B are disconnected and T is disconnected. So no oil goes or nothing happens in the system. However you have other two positions here. Let's see how does that work. Now I'm going to move the spool or the valve spindle to the right as shown in the figure. So as I move the lever to the right what happens is the high pressure oil tries to find its way to the port B as the valves that is the spools uncover the port B. So there is a connection between P and B as you can see in this picture. The ports P and A are completely blocked by this. Now on the other end A and T are connected as you can see. So the high pressure oil from P passes through the B and then it works on the hydraulic motor or the piston and then the exhaust comes through A or the low pressure oil, the drain oil comes through A and drains back to the tank through T. So this is taking a cross path A to B and A to T. Sorry. Now it takes a cross path P to B and A to T. This is how it works when I move the lever to right. Now let's see how does this symbolically represented as. As you can see in this picture P and B are connected, A and T are connected. So high pressure oil enters P and B and then it comes back from A to T as I move the lever to right. So this is the symbolic representation. Now let's see what will happen if I move the lever to the left. As I move the lever to the left Previously P and B are connected and A and T are connected. Now this valve, the spool over here disconnects or blanks P and B off. However, there is a new connection for P. The high pressure oil finds its way to the port A and then goes to the hydraulic motor or piston and then drains back directly to 3. So as you trace this path, P and A is straight, B and T is straight. Now symbolically we can see it as P and A straight, B and P T straight. So this is how you can symbolically represent a four port, three position direction control valve. However, if you add up a spring here, you can always say that it is spring centered. So that completes this lecture, a comparison between the actual valve and symbolic representation. In in my next lecture, I will show you how to deal with the popper type direction control valves, its working, internal construction and nomenclature. Thank you.